New life has sprung up on an empty swath of concrete in East Vancouver. It's not a condo project. As Bob Nixon reports, it's part of a growing experiment in sustainable cities. You would expect in downtown Vancouver construction on developer Concord Pacific property. But this is different. Pallets laid down by the thousands, cased with a packing box, filled with soil. Just steps away from Science World and BC Place. What is going on? It is multi-million dollar waterfront property that Concord Pacific has no plans to use for the next several years. So in the meantime, they're giving it away free to some urban farmers. We have to get cities more self-sustaining. It's critically important and food is a very important element of that. Michael Edelman and his partners at Soul Food have leased the two acre site for the next three years. A boxable farm, removable once the condos go in tomatoes and eggplants and peppers, mixed greens. How much food? More than 100,000 kilograms, if the weather is good, worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. But it's about more than that. We're doing local food, which is, is really great. Uh, we're teaching people new skills. We're working with a community that sometimes doesn't have the opportunities that other communities have. Soul Foods' Rob Holland will be in charge of a few dozen farm workers hired from the downtown east side. Flexibility is the key. Their lives fit into our schedule, right? Not our schedule fitting into their lives. And backing up the whole project are donors. Almost half a million dollars from one local philanthropist, more money from the Van City Credit Union. Well, our goal is absolutely to not have our hand out in, you know, five or six years. We, we want this thing to be self-sustaining. The new crop goes in once the blower fills all those thousands of boxes. Produce will be sold to restaurants, at farmers markets, and some given away to food banks. Bob Nixon, CBC News, Vancouver.